Welcome everyone. The topic for the day is communication audit. What are the various uh, check checkpoints that needs to be taken for before making a effective communication? So communication audit is basically a definitive un analysis of an organization communication, be it internal or external. So when you are talking within an organization or when you are talking from an organization on behalf of an organization with the other stakeholders who are external to the organization it might be media it can be a government it can be your vendors so please remember these are the requirements of policies practices and capabilities a thorough evaluation of organization ability to transfer knowledge is all about communication audit so how do we have transfer our ideas our thought processes towards the other individual, other community, other organization. These, the checklist is the communication. So we'll talk about the audit. It's a systematic approach that forces an organization to look what exactly it is really doing as opposed to what it believes is doing. So there is something called standards. This is the standards and what you're doing, you might be doing something called actuals. Now actuals can be here, which can be below the standards. Definitely yes. Or actuals can be actually be here, which is above the standard. So you have been very con conscious. And in this case, there is always a positive image of the company. Remember, this is the star sign that goes around it wherein this is a negative image of the company that comes around here. So this needs to be understood altogether. What kind of organization you want to go around it? What kind of audit taken care for? A communication audit analyzes an organizational practices to reveal how effective they are uh, throughout the whole company or in specific part of the organization. It can actually pinpoint problems areas such as frequent misunderstanding why frequent information blocks or not executing the orders why because there is a lack of information or there's a duplication of information or there's a misrepresentation or misinterpretation of organization communication so that needs to be understand the audit needs to analyze the practices of organization remember that is what we are looking into it despite the fact that any organization any department might have issued a memo issued a office order but things don't get uh, catapulted into execution mode automatically why that means there are certain fallacies and we need to understand those fallacies altogether what is the what is the thing that is not working with the organization communication the purpose of communication audit is to uncover the strengths and weaknesses. Did I say wherein the standards, the actuals can be exceeding the standards or can be below the uh, standards altogether? So you need to understand what is your strength and weaknesses within the various stages of information transfer. Now, be it within the company itself, clients or stakeholders, what are the basic various differences? It can be noted that people might not be adequately educated, one, or there might be too many of technical jargons to or then things can be actually be depending on other aspects for example you are talking to a vendor and asking them to supply certain materials but their previous vouchers have not been cleared and the vendor refuses to supply it out so you need to understand where the blockheads are all about it uncover necessary data to allow top management to make informed economical decisions about the future this is very important objectives of organization audit an audit should have a series of recommendation and this is true not only for organization this is not only true for only communication audit this can be true for financial audit quality audit customer satisfaction audit you name any audit it has to have a series of recommendation so what is its purpose the audit uh, audit is thus a valuable tool to understand or enhance internal motivation, loyalty, efficiency, and probably sticking to a market position altogether. You need to understand what are the things that you are going going good and how can you enhance it. You can have to understand if things are not moving in your direction, what are the things that goes wrong and how do you iron out the issues, make the issues vanish. So that is the very basic purpose of the 
audit let us understand the scope of the communication audit the scope of an audit may be as broad and as deep as the size and complexity of an organization now this is very very uh, interesting why because certain organization are only present on the virtual medium or in the metaverse if you may call it out and then there are organization which are wholly into a brick and mortar mode still there are organizations in matrix mode probably they are they are operating from various countries probably from various continents and so on so forth now every communication every organization is unique and their modus operandi is different from one another so you need to understand how simple the organization is it will lead to a simple communication how complex the organization is it needs to bifurcate a complex communication demand so that needs to be audited all so what does the communication audit provide it provides a meaningful information to members of management concerned with efficiency credibility and economy this is the vital things of the communication policies practices and programs so we are looking to understand the efficiency credibility and economy of communication policies practices and programs of an organization it also provides valuable data for developing or restructuring communication function guidelines and budgets as well as recommendation for action tailored to an organization particular situation as uncovered by the analysis of the collection collected data this is what communication audit believes in and has to provide a lead so when it is it conducted when things goes wrong definitely yes that's one thing and it can be conducted on a regular interval also so audit can be should be conducted every 5 to 7 years if things are going right nothing wrong nothing can go wrong around it so let us still have an audit can we improve upon things the question remains in the interim a reliable feedback technique should be obtained periodically from the organization communication function now you need to understand you will have to see every memo every email everything that has been shot from your desk or from your issued from your desk um, or the department are they been adhered to is it been replied to is it be an understood and that needs to be uh, that needs to be kindly noted an audit is specially helpful in the time of change this is the factual matter a mergers a acquisition a launch of a new product or a service entry into a new market this is where communication becomes of vital importance because here it will tell you justify the efficiency of the organization go effective so what subjects are covered allow me to speak upon the philosophy how do you communicate now this can be an informal things right there are many organization which can talk about a very informal communication probably they might pick up a phone and say get this thing done or there might be an elaborate organization which needs to be document everything and say address it dear so and so or dear sir or dear madam and so and so from this thing and from that thing we need uh, we need we are thinking of getting certain things done with cooperation from your end so what i'm trying to say is there are various philosophies altogether for communication they can be as diverse as possible we need to understand the objectives is it the the goal very uh, intimate or should i say is very delicate altogether is it very urgent how do you go around it Uh, is it very confidential organization staffing and compensation these are the subject that needs to be well worded and well handled because if not handled people have a lot of grievances existing communication program now this might be having a training program that comes around it the way things have been communicated in terms of a new change and shifts probably the bonus areas the bonus dates the overtimes and so on and so forth existing vehicles and their use usage probably the parking space we are talking around it if the company is providing vehicle services or transportation to the to its employees how do you go around it personal communication definitely yes this This relates to a certain loans that an employee might be asking, or certain advances that the employee might be asking. The most common communication is of that of leave, asking for a leave, and definitely yes, as on when on basis, the weekly meetings, the monthly meeting, the quarterly meeting, if departmental meeting, any exigency meeting that comes around it, these are the subject that needs to be covered up. Communication audit. So 
audit tools what are they we have the strategic communication audit tools as staffing or the personnel that we are talking around it the employees is the crux of the matter we will be talking about the programs as to why we are communicating with them and how we are communicating with them the technology and equipment let's say it can be a verbal communication face to face verbal communication via mobile verbal communication on a wire or voice uh, operated internet protocol the way we want to talk, talk about it and then there is something called a informal media as social media accounts now people of late many companies are having formal communication over social media so basically this is taking a precedence over a time so you need to understand it no longer the email is a justified model altogether probably the people might actually talk about or communicate over the official whatsapp group if you want to say so and so forth We'll talk about the audit of the level of praxis. Remember, various communication practices are measured and rated as per a questionnaire from anything. And I have taken it from a communication consortium media center. What they say, what are the uh, rating scales that they have planned out. They have got this five wonderful rating scale. And that is the reason why I've incorporated these things into my presentation. What are they? This is an ad hoc uh, rating the ad hoc rating is one of thing probably there's a delay in salary so it's once in a year or once in a blue moon so why do you go how do you communicate there's a delay in salary probably there's a plan now we, what you are planning probably there might be communication error in, or should i say communication as in there are breakdowns or there are regular servicing of the equipment and it needs to be done at a certain period of thing so you need to plan it out now during this planned breakdowns or planned servicing of equipment you might ask your employees to avail their annual leave right so you can always sensitize them it cannot be on an ad hoc basis so please understand the difference between ad hoc levels of practices and planned level of practices then there is something called institutionalized now this is the regular modes of communication that the company functions or follows that they are anything and everything to do with it all regular communication that comes around it remember all regular communication these has to be evaluated and how you evaluate it is what are the repercussions how do you respond is a response automated response or a personalized response is it been done as a thing uh, considered once your communication has been ma mailed to somebody else or communicated to somebody else and they don't revert back but get the things done altogether so you need to evaluate what you looking into it and lastly but not least would be to optimize the auditing or the communication altogether if we can have more work and less communication nothing like it i re i still repeat more work and less so we'll talk about those five things one by one so we have what we are looking into it ad hoc reading we will be talking about the communication practice which is unorganized few of the staffs and financial resources are dedicated as i've already stated with you people then becomes the planned ratings the practice has been planned as opposed to reactive as i've said about the breakdowns or servicing institutional that is routine which we have already spoken around here definitely which is a part of the organization cultures the practice is coordinated probably within the organization the organization we will speak about the evaluated ratings or is optimized ratings which has been measured evaluated been measured and analyzed optimized i said more work and less communication as the case might be so this is optimized thing we come into the fag end of the presentation what i'm trying to give it in the next three slides is basically a uh, uh template for having an audit altogether for example these are things that comes in my uh, come came into my mind i've kept it into for your understanding so communication activity is identifying the vision identifying the goals and outcomes please understand the rating which can be given out by the various participants out here we have the selected target audiences we have developed message we can encrypt incredibly um, um messages identify credible messengers altogether we need to understand communication mechanism as to what is it i if i'm asking for a leave i just cannot say uh, call up the phone and say boss today i'm feeling my stomach is upset won't be attending the office is that the right method so you need to tell the communication me mechanism scan context and come talk about the ratings remember out 
the average out here which we'll talk about it we are talking about the integrate communication or interdepartmental communication and probably involve staff at all levels and when i say all levels people who might be usually uh, well read in ivy league college to the people who might just have the literacy ability nothing beyond it so every tom dick and harry of the organization should be able to understand decipher and they should be able to uh, go through the communication process and then then and there they will become a part of your company with this i come to an end of the topic communication audit thank you for watching this video